oh, I like being feared better. Because if you win, people aren't going to like you when you win. Nobody likes a winner. But they'll respect you. So I'd rather be respected and feared than liked. Because I don't give a shit what people think. <laughs> After I won my first championship in 2009, and like mentally knowing what how hard it was to just get that first one, and just how much stress was on you like those last few weeks prior to the race, like I couldn't imagine. I'm like, man, doing this like eight more times. And then I was just year after year just working hard and got the second one and got the third one. And then when I got on the Indian and just went 17, 18, 21, 22, and here we are, and we're right there. The FTR really just put a lot of dominance in my career. It was a very modern day, purpose-built motorcycle. For me, it was it got a lot of the big players at first all on equal equipment. For me, that was awesome because it basically showed the talent of myself and there was no point in the finger that your bike was better at this place and your bike was better at that place, you know? Super Twins, group one, five minute call. Group one, five minute call. Reminder, all sessions today will be six laps, six laps. Last year was uh, was tough. Uh, the start of the season, uh, the series put some heavy restrictions on the Indian motorcycle with uh, restrictor plates and the intake manifold, basically just shrinking down the volume of air that, could, that the engine could consume. It was a challenge, especially on the bigger tracks because we lost so much top end horsepower. But we overcame in 2021 and also 22, um, and was able to still get the job done. <laughs> Daytona has basically been the series season opener for me since the start of my career. We raced this racetrack a lot of years more on the singles when we raced separate singles and twins and uh, this year's the second time we'll be on the twin here. For me in the years past on the single it was always get get this one behind us get through it. Daytona this place here could throw you a curveball. Mission Super Twins underway! They go down the backs right away they go up against the wall. You got to come in and be pretty quick right off the truck. If not, you're chasing your tail. It's hard to get it back. Right now, if I want to go faster, I got to get in the corner better. But right now, I go in the corner. As soon as I go in the corner, it, I go in and charge hard, and it just wants to go yank like that. Almost feels like the front needs to be spongier. You just want me to take bite away from the front? Yeah. Cool. It is what it is now. If we know later, it's going to be totally different. It's going to be wet and slippery. Time to race. It's coming around. Gonna be good. <laughs> coming into the 2023 season, Jared Meese is still looking for his first ever Daytona Short Track win. One thing we do know is he is gunning for his ninth ever championship in the premier class. Only Scotty Parker has won nine championships, so he will be tied for the all-time most championships in our sport. Rogers Racing, STI Racing, Indian Motorcycle, Mission Foods, number one, the Jimmer, Jared Mees. Okay, here we go. Those visors are down, locked in place. Bikes are clicked into gear. Revs are coming up. We're ready to go racing. Mission Super Twins underway. not up anywhere near any of this. The number one at Jared Meese, the reigning champ, really struggling here in the season opener. Meese back in 12, that's what Ralph's talking about, the jammer. J.D. Beach on the 95, just in front of Jared Meese. We expect both of these riders to be contesting for the championship here in 2023. Two laps to go here at Daytona, round number one. Oh, the red, red comes out. Uh -oh. oh, you've got to be kidding me. Underway we go. Daniels to be first to the corner. Now remember, Bauman on the three has no rear brakes working on that bike at all. Meese up to fifth, here he comes. Jared Meese, the number one, the reigning champ, charging up the inside, he's going for fourth. Can he get Bauman to get on the podium here tonight? He got Fisher. Round one goes to Dallas Daniels. Robinson and Bauman will take second and third, and Jared Meese with a hard-earned fourth place finish here tonight. 
earlier on, I was running pretty decent and then got kind of punted and shoved out of the way. And um, as the track was developing, it was getting to be like a really one line groove and I was buried back there. It was like kind of sitting there at eighth. It was like, couldn't do nothing, couldn't do nothing. And then there was a restart. Right off the restart, I guess, made a good move and went right to the bottom and passed like four guys in a row. And then here came the checkered. So in a way I kind of got lucky, but uh, kind of set myself up good for uh, a good position anyway. Gabby Parker is the goat of flat track. I mean, it's, I never thought it would be like anyone would even be in, in the realm of Scotty, even being close to challenge his record. And obviously Mies is, is clipping at his, uh, at his heels right now. And, and the fact he did it nine times and won 94 races is insane. And um, like I said, what Mies has done in his career is, is almost, you know, it's second only Scotty at this point in time. If Jared can tie that or beat it or whatever he's shooting for, you know, it's, it's something that I honestly don't know if we're gonna see again. For me, as a kid, like that was who I, who I wanted to be, and for me to race against a guy like Jared, that has eight right now, and he's going for nine. Like if I can beat him, that just makes me feel good. Obviously, being in flat track since I was a kid, everybody knew who Scott Parker was. Right, he was the greatest. Even if I got nine, or if I got ten, or if I got eight, I mean, it's all going to be debatable around a pizza and some beers with some friends, right? But at the end of the day, you know, the records are the record, and Scotty's the greatest of all time. And, for me to match part of that record or some of his records is, is, is really awesome, you know? Let's go. Mission Super Twins main event number two here at Daytona Flat Track. It's about to go. 10 seconds or left, it's time to drop the, the clutches and go racing here at Daytona. Watch for the green light. Clutches are out, Mies on the outside. The front wheel comes up on the 32. Vandercoy is gonna lead him yeah. in the first corner. And Jared got another good start from the outside, but Jared Vandercoy coming out of the first turn in the lead. Vandercoy out front, here comes Daniels in second, but it's gonna be Mies taking over second. Daniels in third, Robinson already going to the high line. And here comes Mies, Mies is back in attack mode. He's caught up to Daniels. It's a four-way battle for the top spot. Here comes the 67 of Fisher going around the outside of Meese. Dallas is wide again. There's that bump. He's hitting it every lap. There's your winner. Two in a row for the 32, Dallas Daniels. Vandekoy second, Fisher third, Meese is fourth, J.D. Beach is fifth. First race of the season, you can't, you can't win the championship the first race of the season, but you could definitely lose it. So you got to take that in consideration week in and week out and be there capitalize on on other people's mistakes when you can you don't hold a number one plate up by getting luck but having a little bit of luck on your side definitely helps a lot as far as leaving here like the nice guy i could care less about that <laughs> you know what i mean like i want to leave here with as many championships and plates and wins on the wall and that'll be my legacy you know